Welcome, my name is Marty and today I'm sharing a short tutorial on digital coloring for beginners. We'll be using the app Procreate on an iPad and we'll be coloring one of the pages from my new coloring book called Flower and Power. If you've already downloaded the coloring book for my website, you'll notice there's both a PDF and a JPEG version of the coloring book. The PDF is great for printing and coloring with markers or crayons or whatever you have on hand. The JPEG images are what we'll use for digital coloring. We'll get started by opening the Procreate app. Our first step is to choose our canvas size. In the upper right hand corner, tap the plus button and from the preset canvases, choose paper 11 by 8.5 inches. Once the canvas has opened, Use two fingers to turn the canvas so it has a vertical orientation. Our next step is to import our JPEG image so we can start coloring. Tap the wrench icon in the upper left hand corner, then tap add, and tap insert a photo. Your photo menu will open. I'm just going to tap all photos and scroll up to where I know I stored those JPEG images from the coloring book. I'll just tap whichever photo I want to get started coloring on and it should load in perfectly into that eight and a half by 11 but if for some reason it doesn't you can use your apple pencil or your finger grab the corner and resize as needed now to get started coloring we'll tap the color wheel circle up in the right hand corner to open up our color menu mine opened automatically to palettes you can start there if you like but i'm going to go over to disc and choose my first color so you can go around the circle and find the general color hue that you're looking for. And then on the inside circle, you can adjust the tone to lighter or darker. Once you've chosen your color, you can either tap on the page or on the circle to come out of that menu. Now we drag and drop the color where we want it. Tap the circle and pull the color down to your first petal. Now notice what happened, the color bled into other parts of the page, which I don't want to happen. To fix this, we're gonna tap with two fingers, undo, and drag that color again. This time when we drop it, we're gonna hold. So don't break contact with the screen. You'll notice up at the top of the screen, there's a blue line and it says color drop threshold. We need to keep contact with the screen and slide the pen to the left until the color is only in the petal that we wanted it in. See if I slide to the right, it'll add the color into the whole photo. If I slide to the left, it pulls it back. So I'm going to start there, let go, and try again. Now my color is still jumping into other petals, so I'm going to tap to undo, bring it down to that petal again, hold and back the color threshold off, again sliding to the left until the color comes out of that petal. And you can repeat that process as many times as you need to until you have the color threshold where you want it. So now that I have that first flower colored, I'm going to change my color tone just a bit, lighten it and brighten it so there's a little bit of contrast between those two yellow flowers. I'll move on to change my color. I'll find a kind of coral orange here. And start dragging that down into this next flower. So that is the basic process of coloring. We'll come back to the coloring in just a moment. I want to show you what to do once you've finished your coloring. You can export your work so that you can use it outside of your iPad. Tap the wrench, tap share, tap JPEG, and then from this menu you can choose to either save your image to your photos or you can go ahead and print it. I really love printing my coloring pages because then I can take this printed page and work with other projects with it. 
I can frame it and display it, stick it on the refrigerator. I can take it and cut an envelope pattern out of it, fold that, glue it, use it for mailing cards and letters. I can use it for wrapping paper. I can take it and cut it into lots of pieces and use it for collage work in my paintings or my art journal. Get creative. These can be much more than just coloring pages. I'd love to see what you do with your coloring page. So post your completed project on Instagram or Facebook and give me a tag so I can celebrate your work with you. Now I'm going to get back to coloring and finish up this page. I'll speed up the film so you can watch it quickly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, head over to my website, martytribble.com, and join me for more classes and art tutorials, and happy coloring.